This thing is still sandy from the desert trip. That's better. What's up guys? A couple videos ago, I demonstrated how I use Expressive E's Touche device to record Odessa's song, A Moment Apart. Now, a few of you wanted to see a little bit more about how I use the hardware with the software that comes with Touche. It's called Lie. Now, as I explained in my video, Lie is the software that comes free with Touche, and it not only comes with its own presets, but it also allows you to control your existing plugins. This really breeds new life into your existing plugins. I'm gonna break down for you right now all the sounds that I used for that song. Now let's get into the presets that I use within Lie. So right now we're looking at the arrangement of the song and you'll see here the different tracks on the right. We've got drums that I've grouped in, a couple pianos, a uh, breakdown piano, the chorus strings, and then a bunch of instruments that I use Lie for. It starts with the Lie Hoover's Avalon preset. So that's a preset that comes with Lie. There it is, Hoover's Avalon. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, so the next sounds you're hearing are the piano and the drum. I've used the Ableton Street Kit for just these tops, and these kind of go through the whole song, but I separated them because I like this kit for snares and these different sounds that I, it's almost like a breathing sound. You hear it here, I'm gonna solo the drums. So that's the rhythm that's playing. And during that part, we also have the piano. And the piano I've used is also included with Ableton. It's called Piano and Space. And I have the arpeggiator running with Piano and Space. And I've added some vinyl distortion to it. Just Ableton stuff. Here's that piano. So for the next part, we bring back the Hoover's Avalon sound from Lie. And at that same time, you hear an impact hit, and that is from a contact library that comes with Native Instruments, Rise and Hit. And you'll hear that sound come in about every eight bars or so. Here you can actually see it in the arrangement. Oh, we also introduce the regular Ableton Grand Piano. And that's basically what this track is doing throughout the song. What happens next is you hear the bass coming in. Here I've got the altered harmonic bass, which is part of the wavetable, which is an Ableton instrument. Then in addition to that, I've added Lie's Anna Bass Abacus. That's playing along with this but it's creating a sort of rhythm along with the Ableton bass. So that's bass. At the same time as those bass sounds come in, you'll also hear what I've labeled vocals here, but they're really not vocals, in the original song by Odessa. These are actual female vocals, but instead I replaced it with an instrument. I kind of liked how it sounded in the end. Let's solo that and let's just see what that sounds like. And this is where Lie gets really cool. So I have the Lie plugin here. It's actually playing a sound from Output's Exhale instrument. Here's how that works. You open Lie and you choose a plugin another plugin that you have, and that plugin, so I chose Contact 5, and that plugin, once you've loaded that, you can choose any of the contact libraries. I chose Exhale, and I chose a preset from Exhale. So I was able to very quickly map a control of the filter, so you just click on the one up here, and then you press something, and now whatever's mapped over here 
controls that. Let's see if we can watch it move. There you go. So I'm so as I am touching the Touche hardware, the filter is now moving. There's another sound system chorus string. I'll let you listen to that right now. Those are being played. Native Instruments String Ensemble. Here's what they sound like in the mix. Oh, I should mention that by this time, the full drums have come in. And let's solo those and let's see what those sound like. I've used the safe house kit that's included with Ableton. I EQ'd the, the full drum kit, and if I go into every one of the drum sounds, I've tweaked it just slightly, and I may have changed, I think I did change the snare from this drum kit. So once we get to the breakdown portion of the song, here's what that sounds like. Let's hear what Lie's Cosmo Pad sounds like by itself. As I press harder at the end here. Also in the breakdown, I have Theral's Airy. And that sounds like... Just a pretty little sound that you can hardly hear, but it adds just a little something to the mix in this portion of the song. Here's what it sounds like. And by the way, the breakdown piano is also the grand piano from Ableton. You can see all my settings on that here if you did want to copy the sound. Other than that, I've got two risers here. Both risers are playing contact sounds. Rise and hit, it sounds like. Also from rise and hit. Very quick, short one. When I created the song, I had just started using the Touche and the Lie software. So since then, I've gotten to know a little bit more about it. So here again, I'm looking at the uh, Hoover's Avalon sound and you can see how I've played it. Pressing the top of it, pressing the bottom, and changing the sound a little. The Lie software allows you to do a lot of things. You can actually even change the sensitivity curves of all of these pressure points. So if you click this button at the top here, you can change the curve. If you do make some changes, you can save new presets. The presets that came with Lie are really, really nice. And I mean, they totally make full use of the hardware. Now what I think is the most powerful thing about Lie is its ability to run your existing plugins within it and use the Touche hardware to control those plugins. So if you look on the right here, there's this little menu that drops down and it identifies plugins that you already own that can be controlled with the Touche hardware. And you'll see you've got Absinthe, Equator. Can you believe you can even control Equator? So if you've already got control using your Seaboard or Lightpad, this adds even more dimensions of control to it. Then of course you've got Contact, Massive, Reactor, Serum, Strobe, and uh, I've got Expand as well. Let's open Contact. I want to show you how easy it is to map something. Let's go to Signal. So I'm gonna open up Signal. Now again, this is running inside of the Lie software. So you see contact open here with these additional buttons right at the top. So you've got the one through four mapping buttons here, or you can also do speed mapping, which is really cool. If you map one button at a time, you just click that button and you say, okay, I want that to control bright. Well, now it's MIDI map to bright. And if you go back to uh, the Lie main screen here, you'll see that now that's map. If you make a change to Lie, you'll see there now dark, oh, no, wrong button. You'll see that the dark and bright is now moving 
according to pressing down on the touche. I really like speed mapping because when you click speed mapping, now you can assign in order one through eight to everything, anything you see on the screen here. So I can say, all right, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, uh, this is five, this is six, that's seven, and that's eight. Now to all the controls in Lie, I've just mapped everything. Look at this. It's all mapped, it's done. I wish other plugins had this speed mapping capability. I really, really like it. Especially with a device like Touche, you really need something like this that makes mapping easy. I really like the way that they've done this. I'll show you what this looks like with Serum. You have the same controls at the top. Speed mapping again, super easy. So I want one to be cut off, resonance, drive, fat, detune, anything you can think of, there you are, done. Now you've got control over all those things with Touche. Super cool. And of course, can you believe you can even do this with Equator. Press that one over there, and there you go. Now it's controlling cutoff. On the Expressive E site, they have a bunch of downloads for plugins. So they've created a bunch of presets already for existing plugins. I downloaded the one for Massive, so let's take a quick look at that. Massive presets. He, these are presets that Expressive E created, especially for Massive, controllable using the Touche hardware. All right, so what's on the rest of the song? Just to let you know what I have on the rest of it, I have Renaissance Reverb on the first send on the master track. I've got Renaissance Reverb again, and I've got my favorite mixing plugin, Greg Wells Mixcentric. There you have it. Now I've just started exploring the possibilities of using the Touche device and the Lie software and I have so much more exploring to do. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see more of Touche and Lie and all the other gadgets and plugins that I demo on my channel. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget, make the music that you love. I will see you guys later.